This episode is sponsored by Fantasy Flight Games. There is no corner of the universe where humans cannot be found. Since the development of the revolutionary mass drive, humanity has been relentless in its exploration, colonization, and at times, conquest of space. In the modern era, they are recognized as the most numerous and diverse species in the galaxy. In even the most distant star system, or free port, they can be found working as traders, cartographers, explorers, mercenaries, scholars, smugglers, and countless other trades. While there is no particular field in which they exhibit a natural inclination or talent, there also seems to be no limit on what the best or brightest amongst their number might achieve. The diverse skills and vast variation of intellect displayed among their race is believed by many to be the determining factor behind their success, enabling them to overcome calamities in which a more particular species might have perished. Yet the ubiquity of humanity across the galaxy has come at a cost. Of the untold billions of their race across the galaxy, only a small fraction are loyal citizens of the government that today rules their homeworld. Some might feel a vague and ineffable sense of camaraderie or allegiance to their distant kin, but the fiercely independent spirit of humanity has long since conquered any nationalist sentiment. It would be foolish, however, to not recognize the human race as a true power in the galaxy. For more so than any other civilization, the galaxy has been upended by the actions of the Sol Federation of Nations. How the solar system came to be united under the Federation remains a hotly debated and nebulous topic. Reports of great conquests and astonishing discoveries together with triumphs of commerce, engineering, and scientific progress intertwine with sagas of bloody conflicts, disease, famine, and death. Much remains left to be rediscovered. Even their homeworld of Yord once went by another name. A planet of immense continents and oceans, the diversity of the human race is reflected across Yord itself. Few worlds in the galaxy hold as great a range of climates, seasons, and ecology. Its uniqueness is widely attributed to its single enormous moon, which imparts upon Yord dramatic tidal forces within its oceans and often unpredictable weather. Yet regardless of climate, great cities of mankind have spread across every region each a marvel of trade, industry, high culture, and knowledge. The skies above are crisscrossed with a dizzying array of starships, making their way to immense orbital facilities, colonies in the solar system, or beyond. It is from New Moscow, a modern metropolis with an ancient history, that the sole Federation of Nations is governed. Executive power is centralized under the office of a biannually elected High Minister. While the High Minister has unparalleled control over the nation's economic, scientific, and military potential, holding the power of the High Minister in check and at times competing with them for influence are three distinct governing houses, the House of Law, the House of the People, and the House of Industry. But neither humanity's industry, commerce, or diplomacy is solely responsible for its status as a great power across the galaxy. It is the battle fleets of the Federation that are renowned on a thousand worlds, great armadas centered around enormous carriers without equal. Each has the potential to unleash entire armies without warning and drown out the stars themselves in formations of attack craft. The conquest or liberation of many worlds has been heralded by the deployment of orbital drop pods bearing the distinctive Sol emblem, and humanity's martial spirit has earned it many allies and rivals across its history. Today, its fleets are moored in the vast anchorages in orbit of Yord, or in fleet-based Churchill Primer over Mars, preparing for the next great campaign. As the new galaxy begins to emerge from the dark era that has surrounded the collapse of the Lazax Empire, newly inaugurated High Minister Juan Salvador Tao prepares for the new age that is rapidly evolving before them. Power is shifting quickly across the galaxy, and it is in this environment that the Federation of Sol is uniquely suited to thrive. Humanity was the last species in the galaxy to gain a seat on the old Imperial Council, but the first to reject the rule of that fading empire. It was Federation ships that first fired upon the barony of Letnev upon their blockade of the Quan wormhole, 
and it was Federation armies that would usher in the period of carnage that ended the last of the Lazak's race. Now, the time has finally arrived to seat a new power on the throne of the galaxy, and the children of Yord are determined that they will once again be the force that shapes the next millennia of interstellar history. Thanks to Fantasy Flight Games for sponsoring this investigation into the Federation of Soul. In Twilight Imperium, you can lead the Federation or one of other 16 civilizations to galactic supremacy through diplomacy, commerce, or military might. Prophecy of Kings, out this Friday, November 27th, takes the game even further, with seven additional civilizations and a ton of new star systems, leaders, armies, and more. For more information on Twilight Imperium or Prophecy of Kings, check out the link in the description.